let's look at the first of two initial variances that we can calculate in an earned value analysis. The first of these is the cost variance. Cost variance is simply the earned value of our project at this point in time minus the actual costs. Negative is bad. If we have a negative CV value, we're going to say that we are over budget. We are spending more money than we had planned to get the work done. Positive is good. If we have a positive CV value, we're going to say that we are under budget or we're spending less money to get the work done than we had planned. Let's walk through a quick example. Here I have my time phase budget for a project and let's say that I'm at the end of week three in this project. My plan value at this time in the project is $2,574. So I've already got one of the three inputs that I'm going to need for my earned value analysis. I'll go to my accounting department and get the second one here, the actual costs. They tell me that my actual costs so far have been $3,000. I then am going to use one of the earning rules to work with my estimators or my project team to actually figure out the percent of work that has been complete. And let's just say that we determine that 50% of the work is complete at this time. So I'm going to take the total plan value for my project, also known as the BAC, of $4,134, and I'm going to multiply that by 50%. So I find that my earned value is $2,067. I can plot this on a graph and I can plot the plan value for the entire duration of my project or the plan duration of my project that's shown in blue here as well as the actual costs shown in green and the earned value shown in yellow. Now we said earlier that our cost variance is simply the earned value minus the actual costs. So if we look at that and we make that calculation we will find that our cost variance is a negative $933. So in other words, we are currently running over our budget. One of the things that you might be wondering is if we are already over budget by this amount, where are we going to end up or might we end up at the end of week six or whenever we get our project done? Well, there are various indices that we'll see in subsequent lessons how to use to calculate our current progress as well as where we might end up at the end of the project.